What is up, YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench. We got the big set of August 2019 inside track coupons for you to look at. Like I said, this isn't going to be a long intro or anything fancy like that. We're just going to scroll through. Feel free to pause the video if you would like a coupon. Snap a screenshot, take it in, they'll uh, scan it on your phone, and you're good to go. Since this is the long list, I, uh, I doubt I'll be talking the whole time, so there might be some silence, but y'all ain't here to hear me ramble. You're here to look at coupons. I try to touch on some of the ones I know about, like the drill bit set. Usually they can get down to 10 bucks, but if you're in need, $15 isn't terrible, and they're okay for light duty work as long as you don't run them too hard. I do want to make it known I'm not doing these videos to replace anybody. You know, honestly, I just hadn't seen many inside track coupon videos being brought out, so I figured I'd just do them myself and maybe help out some other people that are interested in, in looking at it. Oh, there's that jigsaw. This is, I think it's fairly new. It's 6.5 amps, which is pretty much what all the heavier duty jigsaws run. Sometimes you'll see them up to 7, but that jigsaw might be worth looking at. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just adding to it. You know, I, I think everybody should stay looking at all the videos because a lot of people will know things I don't know. I might know things a lot of other people don't know. Like, for instance, the uh, diamond honing blocks right there are pretty terrible. We got the pocket hole jig coming up and I personally have not used this but I've seen reviews that actually said it was pretty good. And the portable clamping workbench is coming up. I actually have a review of this on my channel. $15. I bought it and I would recommend it for $15 but no more than that. I've had it for about a year, and it is pretty beat up. It's a real light duty table, but it's great for holding projects when you're finishing, you know, take them outside to paint them, stuff like that. And here's one that I am going to buy is that band file, and I'll get it this August, but that thing looks very handy for getting into small corners. Like I said, I'm going to buy it, so I don't know if it's any good or not, but $27, I think it's worth the risk. The insulated screwdrivers, don't bother with those. Uh, the tips just wore out way too quickly, even for a Harbor Freight screwdriver. The uh, 36 inch, I call them F clamps, but I've got a ton of them. They're good for light duty clamping. They will bend and flex with heavy duty applications. But here, let me draw your attention to this fashionable young gentleman sporting a yellow reflective safety vest by the Harbor Freight Tools. Only the finest linen that could possibly be made by hardworking Chinese children went in to manufacturing that vest. Again, with the ratchet to the left, uh, yeah, just use the $5 off coupon, you'll get a better deal. And the swivel sockets there for $5.99, I've been happy with them. The 60 inch bar clamp coming up here, I'll probably be getting a few of those. You don't see that one go on sale very often. You see the one with the longer, like the parallel clamp. They call it an F clamp, I believe. 
But I've really enjoyed the uh, 36 and 24 inch ones I've got, so I'll probably pick up a couple of the 60s. And, and the welding apron I'm thinking about just because summertime's getting pretty hot, so an apron might be a lot nicer than a jacket. So if y'all have any experience with it, let me know. A channel called Project Farm did a sawzall blade comparison or reciprocating saw blade and showed that these bimetal ones from Harbor Freight are pretty terrible. And I highly recommend any of the Harbor Freight Dead Blow Hammers. They're affordable, they work great, and they last for a pretty damn good long time. Here's another item I always pick up when they go on sale is these welding magnets to the right. They're nothing fancy. They're kind of a pain because the metal sticks to them. You can't demagnetize them, but for $3, you can't beat it. Now this drill bit set shows you why you gotta watch Harbor Freight, because normally it's $48, so you'll actually get it cheaper if you just use a 20% off coupon. And if you're ever in need of 20% off coupons or 25 or free item coupons, two good websites, struggleville.net and Harbor Freight Coupon Database. All right, guys, and we're getting towards the end here, so I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you found some deals. I know I got a few things to pick up this August. These are good till the end of the month. And even if you're not an Inside Track Club member, you can try using these at checkout. Sometimes you'll catch a cashier that really doesn't care. And as always, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button down there. Go pick you up some good deals this August, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace!